In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to knock updates on your Fire TV device. And this can be useful if you're worried about Amazon knocking third party apps or your wolf known say. So if you wanna know how to do this, stay tuned. <laughs> They are a few reasons why I don't recommend you doing this. First of all, you're gonna miss out on security from Amazon. Now, Amazon frequently updates their operating system so that you guys can stream safe and stay safe, folks. Whereas, if you knock updates you never know what could happen folks you could get hacked and you could have security risks i'm not saying it's like the but in a very small sense it could happen folks so that's one warning for you um Another warning I want to mention is if you're using a VPN service like Award VPN Surfsock or Express or any VPN service, do know that the app we're gonna use creates a local VPN server. Now I reckon knock Amazon updates. So, because of that, we can't have two VPNs running at the same time, and you would rather use your VPN. So, if you're using a VPN, again, I don't recommend you doing this. And finally, guys, if you like new features, you're not going to get any new features by knocking updates so if you don't care about those three and you just want to knock updates anyway let's go right on our fire tv device it needs to be a device that's above fire os 7 and um, to check what version you want in, so it's going on to your settings. Go down to My Fire TV. And then in here, tap about. And then if the software's below Fire OS 7, you can't do this, I'm afraid. But if you won in Fire OS 7, you're all good to go. The next thing we want to do is come back out and click on the Thunderpet options. Now, if you don't see the Thunderpet options, tap on About, and then where it says your Fire TV name, just tap that seven times till it says you're now a Thunderpet. Press back. You'll see to the Nipper options, go into it, make sure that ADVD button is on as well as install unknown apps, make sure that's on the downloader. And if you haven't got downloader already, it's very easy to install from the Amazon App Store and it's a totally free app. Then we're gonna open up the downloader and then in the box where it says enter a URL or search term, gonna click into that and we're gonna type in 826476. A very simple code, folks. 826476. Then we're going to press go 
and that will take you to my APK page. So let's give that a second. Here we are. Let's go down to the section called update knocking. Here we are. And these are the two apps we're gonna install. So that got highlighted, can click on it. Now we'll download your net guard. Gonna tap on install. Done. And then we're gonna name this APK file. They use this, folks. This does take up space on your device. So tap to delete. And then to confirm, press delete again. And then we're gonna install a TDUK update wiper. So click on it and now we'll start on the download. And we're gonna install the TDUK update wiper. Gonna click on done. And then we're gonna delete the APK file once again, taking up space on our device. Then we're gonna click home. Go into your apps. And then we're gonna open up the TDUK update wiper. And then here you want to click on clear OTA database. So not the second option, because what I find is if you click on this option, it downloads another update to your device unnoticed. Rainy use this, <laughs> guys. So we're gonna click on clear OTA database. That's now all done. So what that does is gets rid of any other updates. So once we're done that, guys, we're gonna go into NetGuard. So once in NetGuard, we're gonna agree to the privacy policy. And then here we are, folks. What we wanna do now is go up to the three dots, click on it, and then we're gonna go down to settings click on it we're gonna go down to advanced options again click on it we're gonna tick manage system apps click on it to turn it on push back back again you'll see the system apps now word of warning guys make sure you do send that in the right system apps Otherwise, if you send that in the one once, you could end up doing something wrong with your device. So pay attention. Right, so the two processes we're gonna turn off are Adept FOSS and System Update. So the way we do that is if you're seeing these Wi-Fi and system icons, we're going to turn these off. The way to do that is highlight them, click on it, and that turns it off. Again, we're going to do the same in the Wi-Fi signal. So turn both of them off. And then we're going to scroll right the way down to system update system update again we're gonna click on the signal icon so that turns it off and the wi-fi icon so it won't communicate with our device via the wi-fi then to make all the magic happen <laughs> push up And you want to highlight this little switch 
up in the corner. It's just there. Kainaina, knick on it. We're gonna say okay. And that's it. With now knocked updates. So if we go back into our settings, my fire TV about tech for updates and with a bit of nook it should say update error now we are folks update error so that means with knocked updates on our device if you liked this video press the thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And as always, guys, have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video.